Hey guys, it's Edward Time again here and uh, welcome back to an another review uh, video and today I want to talk about this um, Apple TV Plus I, I guess a uh, show called Severance and this is was released back in February I think and you know I just want to give my own experience about it what, what do, obviously what do I think about the show you know what's good and bad about it you know and I hopefully people more people will uh, check it out you know check it out the show called Severance and um, yeah, so before we start, I want to share my own experience about, you know, how do I discover this series, obviously, because not a lot of people are talking about it. Um, and again, I didn't write a script for this video, so I'm probably going to be rambling <laughs> at some point, so I'm really apologize in advance. Uh, but I, I plan to make a section on the video, you know, for like the plot, the characters, and the criticism, so hopefully like, I don't mess it up when I'm, when I'm saying it, so... Here we go, wish me luck, I guess. Um, either way, yeah, I wanted to share my own experience about how did I discovered the show, which is like, um, I first heard about Severance uh, uh, when uh, Jack Septicai, I think, uh, tweeted it out uh, on, I don't remember when, I think it was on March, I think, where he, he kind of like tweeted it out, or March or April, where he tweeted out that, oh, Severance is one of the best show um, ever, you know, and then the finale blew me away, I think that's, that's what Jack tweeted, you know, and I was like, oh, Okay, interested, but back then I didn't actually plan to watch Severance. I was just like, oh, cool, uh, a recommendation that I could probably watch maybe later, you know. And on May, um, I watched the the Trust Taste episode, literally the episode ninety eight, I think, where uh, where you know where Connor and Gon basically talk about uh, Severance, you know, the show that he they want to talk about the good stuff, obviously. And you know, they basically give some plot description and then they explain what the show was, and that's where I was like, get. Um, excited and I really want to watch it I want to I want to check it out you know because I just think that I um, you know I just think that when a show that is not really not really that popular to be honest but but it's good you know kind of like an underdog show then I probably need to check it out you know because why not right and that's where I discover severance and that's how I really start to you know to watch it I start to you know watch it and I think um, for you know, for this video, I think obviously we're gonna first we're gonna talk about the plot. Obviously, what what this reference is all about, and then I'm gonna talk about the characters and the criticism that I had about the show because it is not perfect in any way, but it is a good show. You know, so first let's talk about the plot, which is um, you know, a sinister technology corporation called Lumen Industry uh, Industries, which is the uh, well the company. Uh, uses a severance medic medical procedure to separate the non-work memories or some of their employees for their work memories. You know, one several employee Mark gradually uncover a web of conspiracy from both sides of the division. So yeah, um, so the main character is uh, sorry. So the plot is about again this uh character that basically working for the Lumen Industry, sorry Industries, and they have this severance program which is basically kind of like separated your uh mind i think or like your personality uh so basically there is like an uh an in personality and then an out personality i think that's what they call it in the show and obviously so like the in and out so they don't exactly know each other it's a two split personality and it does create an interesting stuff you know in the uh series and obviously the it focus on the characters a lot about like how to discover you know what is the lumen industry's you know secret you know and is the severance are a good thing you know because this is actually a, that's actually the question for the series itself that is severance a good thing you know actually actually some people kind of question that and you know some characters say that oh severance is a good thing you know i can forget some of my problem because i don't exactly remember about them when i was working for like eight hours you know something like that and there is some people just say that you know what it's not good because basically you kind of like enslave to the company right and then they saw and basically again that's why it created this interesting argument and it's, it's focusing on that like a lot in my opinion and i feel like that is we just only see the tip of the iceberg here on season one <laughs> you know um but yeah so the characters is um mark our main character is mark scott played by adam scott you guys might know him from uh, well i guess i know adam scott from this movie, this movie called Krampus, uh, which is a decent horror movie, and you know when I see him again in the series, I was like, well, okay, I kind of like him in the in Krampus, so I thought that he's gonna put up a good performance, and he did in this uh, in this one. Adam Scott put a good performance as Mark Scout, uh, which is basically he he. Oh my God, sorry. He decided to join the Severance program because he's uh, grieving for the death of his wife, 
and that's why he decided to just like you know separate himself you know separate his mindset and use the severance program and that's that was his excuses you know and the, the next character is dylan george played by zach cherry i think this guy uh play some characters on Spider-Man Homecoming I think and then he also appeared in Shang, uh, Shang-Chi if I'm not mistaken you know and he basically the the comedy of the series he basically uh, deliver many lines that is that is like laughable obviously like in a good way and he is like the 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 more down or like the more lighthearted version in this serious show you know but he does get a serious moment eventually near the end of the series and I was like Damn, that was a change for her for his character, you know, and I love it, you know. Um, and another character is Halle Ricks, played by Brit Lower, I think. Uh, which is uh basically a character that uh that doesn't really want to be here exactly, but there is a mystery behind her character. We don't we don't exactly know who she was until the very end of the series, which is mind blowing in my opinion. I was like, didn't expect that plot twist in the end, which is like who Halle actually is, you know. Um. Because we've been following her a lot that he, she doesn't want to work here. She just hated here, you know. But we only see her inside personality, her her working personality, but not the Audi personality. So the Audi personality has a giant twist in the end, which I'm not going to spoil. Don't worry. Um, and the next one we got uh, uh, John Torturo as Erwin Bolif, uh, which is basically... Uh, Erwin is basically really uh, enjoy working at the, the Lumen Industries and... He's really put, uh, you know, put Lumen on high regard on every single thing, you know. He re- really valued them. He really uh, looked up to them, you know. And he was like, damn, dude, you know. And But he does have a character change near the end, near, uh, like, halfway through the series, you know. Like, something happened and then he basically kind of, like, you know, that's where he mind- his mindset changed about Lumen. And he decided to just, like, you know what, let's just uh, screw this place up, you know. And then he- let's just see some stuff about this place you know let's find out some of the mysteries and then maybe there is some um answer that we can find you know finally after halfway through the series you know and again john torturo put a good performance as always um, uh, i think you guys might know him from you know the batman movie he plays carmine valcone in that movie um and he is good in this series you know and the other character is south melchick played by trammell tillman uh which is a really good like good performance as a manager and and as an you know antagonist in the series like he is like he is scary but also you know also like if if like he's very comfortable or around him you know and he was like i think it was thanks to trammell uh performance as mr milchick i guess they were that's what they call him and yeah and, and i think the other one is uh harmony cobell played by patricia arquette uh basically he's like the boss of the company at least or like mark's boss um and <coughs> and again she is great i think everybody in this show has a really good uh performance uh, or like a, re- a really balanced uh performance and it was like yeah really really great you know i think it was really uh believable and at the same time it was like really something that you can actually appreciate about and you know that's all about the characters and there is some other more but i'm not gonna mention all of them obviously that's like the the big characters i guess you could say that and other than that, there is some characters that are obviously important, but it's just like, you know, it's just uh, side characters at this moment, but they were important to the story and they were important to, to the main characters, you know, and that's great. Uh, but yeah, that's the characters. But now I'm, I want to get to the... Actually, you know, before we get to the criticism, I want to talk about the the music of, of the show because the music in the show was so great. And I think the composer is... Uh, hang on uh theodore safiro uh i don't know if i pronounced that correctly but theodore safiro very or shapiro um he like his music is great <laughs> i'm just gonna say that because i feel like there is this um music especially in the main tile that you know uh that kind of ring like this you know like like it was so great you know for a psychological thriller show that fits perfectly to the show, you know, and every single time they played the main title was so great. I didn't I, I didn't really want to skip the main title sequences because they're so great. The animation is great. And, you know, the way they, the way uh, Theodore Sapiro kind of like uh, used the music throughout the episode was actually really well done. Like every single scene just really gets um, elevated thanks to his score, you know. And obviously we get to talk about the director, you know, Ben Stiller and Alfie Mark Ardell, I think. Um, but Ben Stiller is pretty much the one who directed, like, I think he directed seven episodes of the show, if I'm not mistaken. 
and you know like he is great <laughs> he Ben Stiller is a great direction uh sorry director sorry uh great director and I'm, I think the show is again really well directed I think the production design is amazing uh the music is amazing and it was like yeah it is something that I really recommend you guys to watch it you know um but after all the positive thing I gotta talk about my criticism of the show that I think the show the the pacing was very slow and I know that some people probably probably disagree with me on here, but I I still think the pacing was really slow, and it does get to the point that I kind of like want to skip some of the part because I think the you know I think I want the show to move on. You know I want the show to just keep going and then uncover the mysteries and the question. You know and I feel like we're getting there, but it's just it just keeps slowing down in my opinion. At least the at least on the, the first half of it. The second half was just like, yeah, you, you get to there and then it gets intense and I really love it. Um, And that's mainly to the uh, the characters of, again, Adam Scott character, Mark Scott. And I'm talking about the Audi, the OT personality, basically not the working personality, but the OT personality. That I don't really like the OT personality of Mark Scott at first because he was just like, I don't know. I, I understand why he acts that way because obviously he's grieving for his wife, you know, and I get that. He loves his wife very much. But there is a moment that he was just straight up um, asshole towards everybody around him, like literally, you know, and he's just like lame <laughs> for, for half of the time. And then he just keeps slowing down the pacing because there is a moment where he pick up a phone, right? And he, I thought that I was like, oh, he's finally going to pick up the phone finally and then call someone in this phone because the phone is keep ringing every single time. But he just threw it away and I was like, God damn it, man. Really? Do we have to wait another 30 minutes before we can actually get to the exciting part spoiler alert yes we do <laughs> before we get to the exciting part and it was like yeah that really slowed down the story and i it just kind of bored me especially in the first half but again they really pick up in the second half of the show and it was really really fun to watch and really intriguing to watch um i think the first two episodes is probably my favorite one i know that the last again the last half was like really intense and all that kind of stuff but i think the first two was my favorite because we get introduced to the characters get to, get to introduce to the um, again, the, the the wall around them, you know, and it was like, yeah, it gets this, like, the first episode got this indie horror game feeling to it, and it was great, you know, again, Ben's still direction is amazing, and Theodor Shapiro's Saf uh, score was just amazing in the, in the, I mean, not just the first episode, but, like, I feel like the rest of the episode has a great musical score, but, like, the, the most memorable one is on the first episode, you know, it was just, like, when you first introduced to the Lumen Industries, and when Mark is walking to the Lumen Industries and then the score just playing in the background. It was great. And that's why I love them. But um yeah, I think that's my review for Severance. Um I know that I'm probably rambling a lot, so I'm really sorry again once again. Um But yeah, that's the plot, the characters, the criticism that I had, and then I guess some of my favorite um episodes in my opinion. Um this one is the best one in my opinion. Again, there is no spoiler obviously on this video, so if you guys haven't watched Severance, then I highly recommend you guys to watch it, you know. Um, it's a really great psychological thriller show. Um, sure, I have some some of my problems here and there, but that's probably my fault. Because I kind of like, I, I'm I was the kind of guy that actually want to keep things going. Like, slow pacing was fine. I kind of liked them, but there is some moments that I was just like, okay. I think you just, you just kind of padding the episode here. At least in my opinion. Again, just my personal opinion. Um, I still think the show is great, you know, so please go watch Severance, guys. It's an amazing psychological thriller show, if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, if you guys already watched Severance, then I guess you guys can feel free uh, to let me know your opinions about the show in the comment section below. You know, do you guys love it, or do you guys think it was just, like, okay or something like that, or mid, as some, some, some people might say. But, yeah, I really can't wait for Season 2, because, again, that is Season 2, and then the ending was, like, really just a giant cliffhanger, so there's that. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I hopefully we get season two maybe next year. Hopefully, because I really can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the story. I don't know the, how. I don't know how many seasons is going to be in the show. Maybe there is more than three. <laughs> Who knows? But I really hope that they stick the landing. I really hope they stick to the stick the the ending. You know, and hopefully they don't fuck it up. You know, because usually some of the show that it's just like yeah, you have a great beginning. And then uh, after so many seasons, like the ending is coming and it's only the ending was not landing and the ending is not fitting to the stories. That's how it usually goes. So I, I hopefully uh, Saffron's can actually land the ending, in my opinion. So uh, 
yeah that's again that's my review guys and um yeah if you enjoyed then leave you know leave a like comment subscribe share the videos the usual stuff um i guess expect more reviews in the future guys um i don't know what it's gonna be but just you know just i guess stay tuned uh just wait and see because i'm kind of confused to see what i'm going to review soon but yeah just just wait and see um and again guys i really hope you guys enjoy this uh this review and i will see you guys in the next one then bye